time it's more than another lot of war. This ain't the same. This ain't the same. They say love heals all. It makes it all alright. What's up guys? Alright, so as you saw those wheels, that wheel that I have changes colors. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Uh, it's basically my own special color change paint job or dip job, whatever you want to call it. So, as you can tell here, hopefully your camera's picking it up pretty good. It's kind of like copper, bronze, gunmetal-ish right now. And then as we move closer or around, half of it's gunmetal, half of it's bronze or copper. Or even gold too and then as you come back this way it changes to more gunmetal gunmetal now it's now it's completely gunmetal so that's pretty cool let's check it out isn't that sweet here it's a little bit gunmetal anyways so that is my special concoction it is a base coat of gunmetal gray i'll show you guys here so you guys can get the exact parts if you want. Gunmetal. Uh, it's gunmetal gray, about five coats of the base. And then we have the Plasti Dip Gold Metalizer. Metallic finish dip. It's the Gold Metalizer. And what you want to do is you want to spray the base coat uh, like with five layers or so, just to make it a nice thick layer. Uh, and then you're going to spray the Gold Metalizer on top of it, just slightly dust it and then it'll change um, like if you add three coats see how you like it and if you don't like it add more or just keep it on there uh, but it's gonna look pretty cool when it's all done uh, so those of you that are interested in making your wheels turn out like that there you go let's bring this bad boy up all right so i'm gonna put those tires on once it gets warm out because it's 30 degrees right now and uh, it's still winter time, which sucks, uh, you know, the first week of March. But I'm hoping it's going to get nicer out. And I don't know if I'm going to keep those wheels the same. If you guys like those wheels, let me know down below. Hit that like button for me. Uh, I'll probably put up a little vote thing at the top here in the uh, top right corner, I believe. This way. Whatever. It'll be up there. And uh, let me know if you guys like that color where just the inside of it is like that color changing material and the outside is that chrome lip. Um, or, or, or it all should be black and then uh, if you guys haven't seen my vlog the previous vlog that I just put out yesterday or Friday uh, watch that video and about like the middle of the video I think I talked about how my car looked last year it was black and white and it had the eyelids on and it looked pretty sick I kind of want to go back to that look but I kind of want to change it up as well uh, so let me know if you guys think I should do the all white and black theme I know it's kind of overplayed but I mean it looks pretty good in my opinion, especially on an ST, um, that's with any car as well too, but don't tell anybody I said that, no, I'm kidding. So, uh, let me know if I should keep it, that color changing material, the color changing paint job that I did. On those wheels, I have the chrome lip, chrome of course, and uh, leave it that way, do the eyelids and stuff like that. I might keep it on there for like a week or two, just to kind of see how it looks. Um, or, if I should uh, go, go the all black, uh, the wheels, paint the calipers red and do the eyelids and all that stuff make it like a black and white kind of thing um other than that that's kind of like the aesthetics uh, i kind of want to do the eyelids for the car um and i'll kind of show you guys what i mean if you guys have seen my vlog like i was just saying uh it, the picture that was up there shows the eyelids that were done on the car i'm trying to put this this camera stick mount thing on whatever the stick <laughs> i'm trying to put it on the gopro and if you guys have seen my last video, you guys will see that there was eyelids on the car and that was done with regular white Plasti Dip. Uh, I don't think there's any different color shades of white for the Plasti Dip. That's just glossifier. Yeah, I don't have it. So what I did was I took some masking tape. Now this is where the old, now this is where 
the real OCD kicks in because you got to map it so close like this to make a line up with that. And it's a real pain in the ass if you, it probably took me like 45 minutes just to do one headlight to make it all nice and clean and kind of square. But actually what ended up happening was, I think it was right here, it was going like this, that, and then up like that. So this whole area was kind of jagged. There was two points that you saw that were not lined up correctly. And that bugged me, so I peeled it off and now I'm gonna redo it. But I think I'm gonna do vinyl instead. And they have this what's called the knifeless tape, and I think I hit my head on top of the garage because I'm so damn tall. Anyway, so they have this knifeless tape, and what you do is you put it on the car first, and then you put your vinyl over it, and then there's a little thread that you pull up from the tape, and then you just kind of pull it on it like that, and then you just pull across the whole line, and it makes a nice clean cut on the vinyl from the tape. So... It's really cool tape. I had it before when I was doing my hood and then the roof uh, black. But yeah, I don't know what turned out or what the hell happened. But um, the top here in the center and as well as the hood, the bottom of the hood, uh, was getting all crinkly. So I don't know why that happened or why it was doing that. But uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it. And what I also want to do in terms of upgrades is definitely make it that white and black um, kind of paint scheme going on uh, I also want to paint the calipers red if possible I mean if I'm going the black and white theme sorry I'm moving the camera I just want to make sure you guys can see me if I'm doing the black and white theme on the ST I might as well just paint the calipers red right I mean that's kind of only makes sense to me to make it look better um, oh yes that's right so I got hood vents RS hood vents uh, so those are gonna be installed Probably once it gets, starts getting warmer out. And uh, so that's going to make it look even nice. Which I might do the black and white theme anyways with those black hood vents on there. And they're, gonna, they're just going to sit in the center of the hood. Um, so that's where they're going to be. What I also kind of want to do is do, well do the wheels. Then I want to do the hood vents. And then also the, um, the eyelids that's another thing and that's pretty much it in terms of upgrades uh for performance parts i can't really do much because i'm on a stock turbo so you can only squeeze so much power out of those before you have to upgrade to a big turbo now i do have more parts coming in so i got the cutout installed and what i'm going to get soon is a intake manifold spacer by boomba racing now i had the uh throttle body spacer one before i have had that thing for like so many years because uh, I bought it off some guy. Sorry, got a call. Anyway, so I bought it off some guy. Uh, something Auto Sports. Uh, I forgot the name of it. And uh, so I bought the throttle body spacer. He sh Edge Auto Sports. That's what it was. So he shipped it off to me, and that was good. And I had it. I had it for like so many years, I think. Um, and all that time, I've been looking for an intake manifold spacer uh, to kind of complete the set. I kind of wanted it in red. The throttle body spacer is in black right now, um, which is cool. I mean, you're not really gonna see it anyways if you look down. You can't really see it. So the intake manifold spacer is red, which is perfect. I'm getting it cheap, probably about half the price of uh, new, maybe maybe a little bit less. Um, but I mean, I am sponsored by Boomba Racing, so I can get it, you know, at a good price. But um, I actually found this guy, and so I'm actually gonna get it next weekend. So that's gonna be installed, and I can't wait for you guys to see that video. It's gonna be really cool. Um, I want to get a port of throttle body. Again, I had it before prior to tuning the car. I think this was like maybe in May or June. Uh, so I bought the car in September of 2014. I probably bought the Porta Manifold, the Porta Throttle Body in the beginning of the year, probably around May. And then I bought it, put it on there. I wasn't tuned at the time. And it says in the description that you have to be tuned, or you don't have to be tuned. But uh, if you're not tuned, I was thrown in the check engine light uh, because the idle was too high or the idle wasn't right only because there was much more air going into the engine than accounted for. Uh, reset the battery, that didn't work, that kind of stuff, and it just still kept turning on. So uh, I ended up returning it, and now since I'm tuned, of course, I'm running on E30 right now from Stratified, I want to get that portal throttle body and just see if it'll add any extra horsepower. So I wanted to give you guys an update on the ST and any future parts that are incoming. Um, please go ahead and hit that like button for me. Uh, let me know what kind of wheels you guys want me or what kind of wheels you guys like in terms of what color it is. Uh, we either have that color changing material that you saw in the beginning of the video or if it's going to be all black, 
uh, gloss black. I don't like matte gloss black. And I'm going to paint the calibers red. And that'll actually look really nice with the black hood vents that are going to be installed. So once again, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Have a great day. Welcome. Monty LSV6 out.